Hello my beautiful co-creators, this is Isolde Kellman and this is day 12 of my journaling challenge. Well, uh, we're almost finished with our 7-day mental diet and it's been definitely an interesting progress because you always have to be on guard what goes in and what goes out and, and kind of watching our thought patterns and it's definitely, it's a good sign and it's a practice that I don't really want to stop doing after seven days because it reminds you that how often and how easily we just drop a judgment. And judgments are really creating a karmic debts that we'll talk next week and it's best not to get engaged with that. And the miracle of the day the miracle of the day was that I've been reading journals of our group um, participants and I'm so filled with joy to see their progress and their recognition that they are not just the victims of cause and effect and their circumstances, but they are recognizing that they can cause an effect. And one of the side effects of mastering your state of being is that you start to recognize the effect in your external environment and most of the time what you'll notice is that things are calmer and people people are nicer to you because if remember that the external world is simply a mirror effect of our inner state of being and when you can control that what's going on within your environment will reflect and mold to it. And there was an interesting saying that circumstances, circumstances don't matter, but state of being matters. And what it really refers to that it will materialize eventually. So we're going to start next week our karma cleansing and it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of exercise again about um, truly accepting ourselves and forgiving ourselves. Many times it's easier to forgive others and we kind of, we, we, uh, we have a very harsh self-talk and self-monologue or dialogue to ourselves uh, regarding that we should have known better, we could have done better, but really there are things in life that that we act to of what we know the best at the time because if really if we would have the whole picture if we would have truly understanding what is life about I can guarantee you our reactions would be very different we look at the world from a very limited point point of view and many times our judgments comes from our lack of knowing but the best way to experience openness and allowing the divine to flow, uh, go through us or flow through us is to practice self-acceptance and forgiveness so join us next week as we're gonna explore how to accept our shadow self and our good qualities as well because when we do we accept the creation of the divine namaste and i will see you guys tomorrow